Hey everybody, I'm Eli Stouth. This is Read to Your Kids, and today we're going to talk about a delightfully time-consuming genre of books, search and finds. So today I'm going to hit you with three more recommendations that kind of go from younger, a little more advanced, to one that's not technically a search and find book, but it's great and you can spend a lot of time looking at the pictures, so I'm putting it in there. Book number one. Okay, this one, things that go. Uh, Campbell's publishing it, illustrations by Nico Ng, which I think are great. I really like the style, the whole thing. That's the that's that's one of the reasons I'm putting it on here. It's got high contrast, easy to look at pictures, nice little characters. And the cool thing about it is it teaches a lot of concepts to kids, so it's great for early readers. I think, you know, two-year-olds are gonna have a fun time with this. Um, plus two-year-olds seem to love construction. So as you can see, you get six of the pictures down below and it has different trucks, cars, these kind of things. Pictures replicated up above so you have a pretty easy job of here it is down here, can you find it up top? Not too hard so the kids can do it and there's a whole bunch, you got all the tabs on the one side with different types of scenes. In each of these there's fun stuff going on but it's not too complicated so the younger kids can do it and you can look for a long time on every page. I also like how it kind of teaches some of the words so as you're going through it you can learn what a dump truck is, a bulldozer, a crane. They call it a dumper truck which you may think that's a little weird but Campbell is a UK publisher so there's a few words in here like buggy instead of stroller and I think lorry is in here later so I mean it's different if you're from North America but whatever that's fun too. So I'll show you a couple of the other scenes I like the fact that there's a farm one because otherwise I don't think my kid would know what a combine is and for some reason growing up in a rural area that's important. Um, air show, kids love that kind of stuff. Same type of thing, you get the stuff down below, simple pages. There's also on each page you get this uh, surge. A French bulldog shows up everywhere so you can check him out. It gives you an extra little thing if you go through the whole book. Okay, now we can go back and try to find Surge on every page. It's cool if you like the style of these things that go. Um, Campbell does three other books in this series. Sea Creatures, Wild Animals, and Dinosaur Land. So if you like the look and feel of this, your kid likes it, you can get those other ones as well. You're gonna have a blast. Simple stuff, something to enjoy. Book number two. This one is by Wonderbly which if you aren't familiar with, is a great little publisher that lets you put your kid's name and picture, or some close approximation, in the books that you get. So, where are you, Wolfram Stouth, the name of my son. Um, this is a cool book, it has a simple little story where uh, your, your kid gets a package, which he shouldn't have got, it's an interdimensional portal, and he starts to jump into all these different portals, and in all of these different dimensions, you have to find the version of yourself that is the world's most famous chef, or the world's the intergalactic pop star, or the most intelligent scientist in the world. It's a blast. Plus, look at these illustrations. I'm getting, I'm having some binding issues with my copy. Let's give you an example here. So you got Dr. Wolf, Wolf from Stealth. He's a super vet to the stars. You have a few things you have to look for. Here's the guy that you're trying to find, and then you go to these sweet, sweet images. Now all the pictures here by Maria Tiarina, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Maria Tiarina, um, really cool stuff. You can just see this is a lot more complex than the last book. There's so much stuff going on in here. There's lots of fun things to look at and the characters and everything are just zany and bizarre. There's an egg here walking. He has a little bowler hat on, going for a stroll. That's a lot of fun. A whale chilling, weird eye creatures, right? So not only, okay, you're gonna spend some time looking for your version of your kid, which is a blast, but you also have all these interesting creatures, which you can just spend a lot of time looking for. You get through that, there is the extra little things on each page that you have to find, and you get through all that. At the end, they have these longer lists where you can get even deeper in finding an extra list of all that. So, Wonderbly, where are you? Um, I'll put the link to Wonderbly down below. If you like this, there's another where are you where there's an evil pigeon trying to destroy time or something like that and you jump back through different periods of time. We don't have that one, but it looks cool too. Same art style, also probably a lot of fun. Now book number three, like I said, not technically a search and find, but I have a heck of a time just looking at the illustrations in this book for some time. The Neighbors by Anat Zarfati. And uh, this book follows a little girl as she goes up. She lives in a building that is seven stories high and she traverses all the way to the top, stopping at each door, which is different, and telling you about the inhabitants of that apartment, which 
are just very creative. Um, from a pirate living with his mermaid girlfriend to this family of thieves that love Egyptian artifacts. So why can you do it as a search and find? Well, on every one of these pages, and you can see that the drawings are pretty detailed. There's a lot going on in each of them. In each of the drawings, there's a little mouse, which you're told at the beginning is lost. Look at this poor, he's lost. The signs are going up everywhere. If someone could please find him. So every page you go through and you can spend your time looking for it. Sometimes it's a little easier, sometimes it's a little harder. The other thing you can do as you're going through it with your kids, I mean, the story's fun too, but you can also go through and just come up with other things as you're looking through it. Hey, can you find this or that? Um, let me show you the... I love these two. They're hanging out that's in the apartment. They live underwater because his girlfriend's a mermaid and Mr. Pirate. Fantastic. And so the story, as far as the story goes, she goes all the way to the top. She gets to the top. I'm like, my parents live here. They're boring, but I love them anyways. She goes to sleep. You find out her parents are actually superheroes. Wow. So that's super exciting. And uh, yeah, you can see on these pages, lots going on. Ain't that? Really cool illustrator has another book, The Sandcastle, something like that coming out soon. Maybe it's out now. Probably another one I'm going to want to check out. But neighbors. So there are three books to keep your kids occupied for a while, doing a little search and find action. The Neighbors, Wonderbly's Where Are You, The Name of Your Kid, and the Things That Go series, illustrated by Nico Ng and uh, by Campbell. Check them out. And you know what, if you like this video, why don't you give it a like? And if you wanna see more of this kind of thing, just hit the subscribe button. And if you stick around, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.